This is a video demonstration for our HG50 top loading autoclave. This 50 liter self-contained unit does not require an outside steam generator or plumbing for insulation or venting. The HG50 features a new body design with a larger chamber diameter of 14.3 inches and a shorter height of 18.5 inches. These new dimensions allow for easy loading and unloading for anyone in the lab. Mounted on casters for mobility, the HG50 also features a large and efficient condenser that eliminates steam exhaust into the lab, programmable auto start for running a cycle up to 99 hours in advance, a built-in fan for faster post sterilization cooling and shorter completion time, and an automatic lid opening and closing with one touch of a button. Only water and an electrical outlet are needed to begin operation. The HD50 comes with a NEMA 5-20P plug. A 2 kilowatt heater located at the bottom of the chamber generates steam. Approximately 3 liters of water, tap, distilled, deionized or RO water, are poured directly into the chamber before setting program parameters. There are four cycles to choose from. A liquid cycle for water or media, an agar cycle for agar with post sterilization warming, a solid cycle for glassware and waste, and a dissolution cycle for melting agar or for faster startup. Once a cycle has been selected, in this instance, agar cycle, parameters can be easily programmed. Set temperature, set time, and warming temperature. For each of the four cycles, there are three sub-cycles for which you can input different parameters. In addition to setting sterilization temperature, time, and warming temperature, one can also set the time for air to be vented from the chamber. By default, the exhaust valve closes five minutes after the chamber temperature first reaches 97 degrees Celsius, at which point the chamber begins to pressurize. For air retentive loads, such as waste and biohazard bags, increasing the air exhaust time will result in more air being exhausted thereby resulting in more efficient sterilization. To do this, press the function button twice and the default air exhaust time flashes. Press the up arrow to increase the time. Once all the parameters are set, to start a cycle, simply close the lid and press the start button. Each stage of the operation cycle can be seen on this display. Heat, sterilization, exhaust, and warm. During the cycle, the chamber temperature is shown here. And the sterilization time will begin to count down once the set temperature has been reached. For liquid and agar cycles, the rate of post-sterilization exhaust can be set before or during the cycle. During post-sterilization exhaust, a built-in fan is used to cool the chamber so that the load can be removed as quickly as possible. However, the fan can be turned off if rapid cooling is not desired. Steam vented from the chamber through a copper tubing is cooled in a 15 liter condenser at the rear. 
The condensate flows into this front exhaust bottle. The HG50 is very safe to use. A safety interlock system does not allow the chamber door to be opened under any one of the following three conditions. When a cycle is in progress, when the chamber temperature is above 97 degrees Celsius, or if there's any pressure in the chamber. Other safety features include a low water power cutoff, over temperature power cutoff, and over pressure power cutoff. Regarding the accessories, we offer a tall basket with solid bottom and shorter stacking baskets and pails. Note that a basket can be stacked on top of a pail. For waste containing agar, we recommend using a basket with solid bottom or a pail. In the event of a tear in a biohazard bag, any spillage will be contained in either of these accessories for easy cleanup. We also offer a tube rack accessory that holds up to 90 20mm tubes.